good morning, good morning, good morning. The morning of Christmas Eve, folks. Ranger Dog and I are just getting up. We're gonna go start this day. Help my mom make some uh, food. We're having my brother and my nieces and my nephew come over today for a, a Christmas dinner, a Christmas Eve dinner. So let's get this day started, shall we? All right, all right. So uh, Ranger Dog and I walked across the street here and we're gonna have us a, a morning round of disc golf. It's a nice morning for some disc golf, it sure is. So that's what we're gonna do, folks. Let's do this. So, I thought I'd share this with you fine folks. Last night, um, I went on Facebook Live and shared, shared my Christmas story on when I got my patchwork overalls and an engine for my VW bus on the way to a Grateful Dead show. Um, after some eggnog, I decided I would share that with the world. And for some reason, 30 minutes after I was done with my video, it was deleted by Facebook. I don't know why. I wasn't cussing, and there wasn't no music, so I don't know. Um, but I figured tonight I would share that story again with less eggnog inside of me, in my tummy, and share that story with you fine folks. It's a good Christmas story. So, uh, that's it's definitely going to probably be on the agenda for this evening, Christmas Eve. Alright, so we're going to continue on with some golf. Happy, happy Saturday, folks. Happy Christmas Eve. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hope all is swell, well, groovy, 
in your neck of the woods. And to my family, and to my friends, and to all my Volkswagen family, all disc golf family, all YouTube vlogging family, all tube, all of my, all tube, all of my Woovian family, happy, happy dappy Christmas Eve. Hope all is well, swell, and groovy in your woods. Um, I hope you guys are getting to where you need to go safe. Hope you're staying comfy. Hope you're staying warm. Uh, it's been a, a real nice day here in my neck of the woods. Uh, we had Christmas Eve lunch. My brother, my nieces, my nephew, my sister-in-law, they all came over. And we had a big feast. For Christmas Eve because they're all going to be doing their family things and traveling tomorrow so we did ours today so I just kind of hung out and I played some disc golf this morning and um, slept had a nice nap and um, just just enjoying Christmas Eve um, it's everything's getting ready to happen um, as soon as I get done broadcasting to you fine folks my mother and I we're gonna watch um, one of our favorite Christmas movies, which is my favorite Christmas movie, and it's a tradition, tradition, starting back years and years and years ago when I was in Durango, Colorado. We always watch Irving Berlin's classic, 1955 classic Christmas story called A White Christmas, starring Bean Crosby, Danny Kay, Rosemary Clooney. That's George Clooney's grandmother, if you guys would like to know about that. But that movie, White Christmas, we've always watched every Christmas Eve. I've, my mom and dad either have come over or they have, I've come over to their house. And, you know, last year it was hard to watch the Christmas, uh, a white Christmas with my mom because, you know, we were missing my father because we lost my father last year. So this year... It's something we're really looking forward to. And like I said, as soon as I'm done broadcasting, wishing you guys a happy, happy, happy Christmas Eve. We're going to go watch White Christmas. And then we're going to go drive around. I'm going to get some video of some Christmas lights. Then we're going to go to the Christmas Eve church, to the mass at the church. And that's our Christmas Eve. That's what we're doing. But uh, I decided to do my... My little vlog, my little vlog tonight, you know, this is a type 2 vlog, it's a, it's a daily vlog that happens daily, and it can be live, it's a spontaneous live vlog again, um, and which I'm really excited about tonight, because, um, last night, I was broadcasting on my Facebook Live, and I, for some reason, I remembered last year, I wanted to tell everybody about this story, about me and my VW bus, and how I got these patchwork overalls. And I just, I didn't do it last year. It was, it was just something I didn't do. And so, because like I said, it was, it was a different Christmas last year because my it was the first Christmas without my dad. So this is just, now I feel like I'll just tell you guys the, the, the my Christmas story on how um, I got these patchwork overalls. Um, it, you know, first and foremost, let me, let me tell you fine folks, you know, the truth lies in the storyteller. It's up to the listener to make his own or her decision. <laughs> Just always keep that in mind, folks. Always keep that in mind. But uh, in 2003, uh, it was before this old VW bus was tie-dyed like it is now, um, I was on my way to Denver, Colorado, to a Grateful Dead Christmas Eve show. And I got somewhere in uh, just the eastern or the western part, northwestern part of Kansas, getting ready to cross into Colorado, and it was snowing. And it was a good snow. And I seen this hippie kid, and it was right after I started, I started getting into the snow, and I seen this hippie kid with a sign saying, Miracle, Okay. Now, for you Grateful Dead fans out there, a miracle means either a ticket to the show. Basically, that's what, or, or 
in his case, he needed a ride. And so I pulled over. I was like, I don't have a ticket, man, but I can give you a ride. He goes, well, that's my miracle. I need a ride to the show. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, I got cash. I got bread. That's what he called it. He goes, I got bread and I'll put some gas in. And I was like, that's cool. That's cool. So he hops in. He goes, my name is Patches. Patches. Patches of the hippie. I was like, that's cool. I'm, I'm Brad. Um, on my way to uh, the show. And um, I was, we started talking about tickets because I needed a ticket. I was going to buy a ticket once I get there. He goes, well, he, his uncle had a ticket for him. He goes, my uncle, my uncle hippie. I was like, that's cool. So we were driving and Patches gives me some fudge because, see, I like Christmas fudge and I like Christmas divinity. It's just something I really love. And he happened to have some. And he's like, I'll share some with you. He, uh, so I'll, we ate some Christmas fudge and drove about, I don't know, it could have been 45 minutes to an hour. And we ch chatted and and just hung out. Like I said, I was driving the, uh, the bus. He, old Patches is over here. Mm -hmm. And he started asking me, he goes, hey, I'm getting close to my Uncle Hippie's house. Do you think we can give him a ride as well? Why not? You know, he's like, it's just right off the roads here. I was like, all right. So he goes, it's another another 45 minutes up there. You know, we'd be driving right by it. No problem. No problem, Patches. You know, it's no problem. So we chit-chat, you know, and all that thing. And we finally get to where he needed to go. He goes, pull off here. We pull off the highway and drove off the road a little bit. And my my engine and my bus started acting funny. Um, it just, it was the original engine that I had in the bus. It was only a rebuilt. And so that started worrying me. And as soon as I started getting worried about that, uh, he's like, oh, turn off here into the woods so we turned off into the woods and it was like deliverance looking woods it was just like they went around the whole two grass wheel well or wheel tracks just going into the woods snowing and just snowing bad and we're going in there and i'm kind of getting worried because like i said it's now we're going into the woods and the bus was starting to make some funky noise i don't it was it was the strangest noise I've ever heard in my bus. Like I said, I, this is two years of owning my bus and with just the original engine with the rebuild in it. So we're driving along, driving along, and all of a sudden this deer, I thought it was a deer, comes out right in front of the bus. Like, see, this is a, this is like my bus. It's a 1970, it's exactly what I'm driving here. This is my bus. And this deer comes along and I, I don't know how I didn't hit it, but it stood there. And it was a big deer. I started thinking, first thing I thought was my brother. Um, I was like, man, my brother would flip out over that deer, or that buck. And he kind of laughed. He said, oh, that's not a buck. He goes, and he said, that's a, that's a reindeer. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, this, we have reindeer up here. <laughs> I thought he was joking. And so we kind of moved away and, and I was driving off. As I was driving off, it looked like a lightning bug was like up that deer's nose or something or flew up its nose. I don't know, it was weird. And he kind of laughed, he goes, oh, that must be the, the fudge talking. I was like, I started thinking of the fudge talking. Maybe he, because I ate some of his his can his fudge because he had his uncle hippie had more fudge he's taking a bunch of his fudge to the to the show and I was like okay and he's gonna give me all the fudge I wanted all the divinity but he goes it may it might be the fudge talking I was like that's kind of funny and it kind of scared me because hippies are known to put chemicals into you unbeknownst it's called dosing somebody <laughs> or slipping them a mickey and that's that's the next thing i thought of well hell it's bells 
literally hell's bells. <laughs> I'm here in the woods. Some guy, some hippie, just dosed me that I picked up on the road. He's going to steal my bus. It was not cool. And it was really snowing good by then. And, by, and we finally got to his Uncle Hippie's cabin, a little bitty cabin, next to a pond, next to a little pond, you know. And it was just snowing. And... We get out, and I was like, this this cabin looks so familiar. Like, it was really strange, really, really strange. You know, the whole experience was starting to get really strange, and I was thinking I was also maybe not poisoned, but dosed. <laughs> like, in something that was in that fudge. And we get into the uh, his Uncle Hippie's shack, and it was cold, cold, cold. I, I mean, I'm freezing. You know, I had a pair, um, I had just pants, um, a hoodie, and a pair of old Vans, you know, Vans for shoes. And I'm freezing. And we go into, into the cabin, and man, this cabin's warm. The toast, he had a pot oven stove just in the corner. And behind this little cabinet, or this little uh, area where people kind of gather, and there's looked like a bar at first. There's this old guy. I thought it was an old guy at first. Mixing up like, uh, I thought, batter. That's what he was basically doing, but he was making fudge. And I was like, holy moly. Uh, I looked at him, I was like, you would pass for Jerry Garcia. <laughs> and he, he kind of chuckled. He goes, oh, no, 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 my name's Nick. And I was like, nice to meet you. But he goes, but they call me Uncle Hippie. Just call me Uncle Hippie. I was like, okay, that's cool. So... He goes, I'm going to get my stuff together, and we're going to go. And so he, he poured the fudge, what he was making, into the stuff, put it in the refrigerator, grabbed all the fudge he had ready to go, put it in this little red, it looked like a little red velvet bag. <laughs> and he goes into this room and change, you know, comes out, and he has, it looked like a Santa Claus jacket on. And he puts on his Santa Claus hat, and he goes, he goes, them Norwegians or something, they knew how to sew. I was like, that's cool. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. And by this time, I think I was more at ease about not maybe I was dosed by these guys or by, by patches. And so we get in the bus, and we fire the bus up and we're driving down back through those woods, those funky looking woods and he's like Uncle Hippie's like, pull over here I need you to go to the barn real quick and we pull down there and all of a sudden there was five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, all those I thought were deer, he's like, I need to go feed the reindeer and there he goes, I was like, this guy's calling it reindeer too you know like, okay, <laughs> it was funny so we sat in the bus, and I had a heater like I have there, but it was a propane heater. And we just chit-chatted and, and, and had some more fudge and drank some eggnog and uh, other things like that. And I could hear Uncle Hippie over there talking to these deer, like, like, my, like I talked to Ranger. Like. <laughs> but he was calling them Prancer and Vixen, and I, I was like boy patches i was like your uncle hippie i was like man he he's really into like the, the spirit this year ain't he he goes oh that, that that's how it is in my family and i was like that's cool <laughs> he goes well, we, we just like getting jolly all right this time of year so we get in the bus and we get through the woods uncle hippie's sitting back here mm -hmm. And we drive to the Grateful Dead show in Denver, Colorado. As soon as we get on the freeway, my engine starts going, Kanaka, 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 Kanaka. I was like, what the heck? So obviously something was wrong. Um, he goes, Uncle Hippie goes, ah, just put, just put some oil in it. These things are German made. Just keep oil in it and gasoline and a spark plug and they'll go forever. <laughs> he started laughing. And his laugh was, it was a strange laugh. 
And so I got out, I put some oil in. I knew something was wrong because I was, was pulled over. Getting the bus fired up and the knocking kind of subsides a little bit. And we drive on down the road. We're driving and we're about, I think about 45 miles east of Denver, Colorado. And all of a sudden it was like, boom, the whole bus just lost power. We pull over and I get back there and my uh, oil cap, like there was so much pressure, blew the oil cap apart, like literally blew it apart. And so we sit there and let the bus cool off, and we shove a, we put more oil after more oil in after the bus cooled off. And this whole time, and I didn't think about it at the time, I'm eating all this fudge. It was just a really good Christmas fudge. I just kept eating it and eating it, and and so. Would sit there and talk and hang out on the bus, let the bus cool down. We let it cool down for a good hour. And I was worried about not getting a ticket. And Uncle Hippie's like, there's no worries. I'll get you into the show for, for your inconvenience. I was like, are you serious? So we let the bus cool down, put the oil in it. He goes, just put an oil rag in that oil where the oil cap went. He goes, and drive it at 40. So we did 40 miles an hour all the way to the Grateful Dead show. And we got there. And it was weird. It, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, South Park. But Mr. Garrison, the teacher, the, the cartoon character, um, he takes some LSD. And his head starts feeling like a, like a blue. Well, I got that feeling soon as I walked into the show and I that's when I suspected that maybe that fudge really had something well it's hard to describe a Grateful Dead show there's a lot of dancing and singing and and all that and I had a good time one of the most life-changing experiences of my life at that show so after the show Patch is like well you don't mind giving us a ride back do you I was like I didn't know what to do about my engine. Well, Uncle Hippie's like, as long as you keep oil in that thing. He goes, we'll stop at Home Depot, get you a plastic pipe cap, and we'll put on that oil, that, where the oil cap went, and I'll get you home. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, because I didn't know enough about VW buses very well, so that's what we did. We left the show. We actually went to Walmart, got it at Walmart, a little cap for a pipe, and, and it worked. And we kept oil in it all the way to where Uncle Hippie's house was at. And it was like, I thought it was way after midnight, but it was 1130 at night. We got to Uncle Hippie's house and I was freezing, freezing. Cause like I said, I didn't bring much for the weather. And by this, this time the bus had like z almost zero power. Cause it was so cold. You're doing like 30 miles an hour. Finally, you know, after after driving like for like three hours, that was how much power the bus had. So I slept in the bus that night outside of Uncle Hippie's house. And right before I went to bed, Patches comes out and he gives me these these overalls. He goes, these would keep you warm. I was like, thanks, Patches. He goes, my family made it. I was like, that's cool. He goes, yep. My family made it for the workers. So I was like, wow. Workers? He goes, yeah. We own a toy factory. He, that's how they knew everybody at the Grateful Dead show, I guess. So, Nick, Uncle Hippie, and all them, we had a good time. I went to sleep. And that morning when I woke up, Christmas morning, I got out and, you know, first thing you got to go is go to the bathroom when you get up. I get out, I'm in the middle of the woods and the cabin that was right here, because I parked next to the cabin, there was no cabin. 
there wasn't much of a road into that place or anything but there was fresh snow like it was snowing all night and my bus was covered with snow and the only thing on this side of the bus because I walked over to this side of the bus there was two looked like somebody took two sticks looked like railroad tracks at first I thought and I thought it was like a bunch of dog tracks next to it and it just went up about 100 feet and just stopped I was like that's weird and I'm like thinking, I know I camped next to Uncle Hippie's house. I, I I figured maybe I drank a little too much eggnog or something. So I get underneath, put some oil in the in the in the engine, and it's not the same engine. It was a brand new engine with a note saying Merry Christmas. Brad, thank you for the groovy time. Uncle Hippie. That's what it said, Uncle Hippie, and then in parentheses, Nick. That night, I think I met St. Nick, or a.k.a. Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, everybody. Peace, love. B.W. Grease. Be kind to one another. Be good to one another. Be grateful for everything and love one another, folks. I'll see you.